In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your GameCube memory cards. Let's say you've owned a GameCube for a number of years now, you've been using the same memory card for those same years, and you just have an impressive collection of saves just sitting on that card, and you're wanting to move them into your emulation projects, or use them on a digital format like the GC Loader or Nintendo. Well, you can actually back that memory card up into a digital file to use in said applications. And we're going to go over those steps today. Now, this does require you to have either a modified GameCube that can boot into Swiss or a modded Wii. And of course, that Wii does have to have the GameCube memory card slots available. And to accomplish this, we are going to use the program GCMM. Now, just as a forewarning, I am not going to be held responsible if you accidentally delete said precious saves by messing around with this program too much. But let's just go ahead and dive in. Now, as previously mentioned, this guide does require you to have either a modified Wii or a modified GameCube. Wii being the easier of the two, unless you have something like a GC loader, action replay disc, and all that already set up and good to go. But I will have a link in the description below on how to get your Wii modded and ready to use GCMM for. Next, we're gonna need the GameCube Memory Manager program, GCMM, and I will have a link to the download page here in the description below again. So just go ahead and download the latest release. And once that download's complete, just go ahead and get it extracted. Now, inside the folder, you will see a number of different things here. So I'm gonna show you how to do this on a modified GameCube as well as a modified Wii. So let's go ahead and start with the GameCube side. Now inside you will see a dull file for just normal GCMM as well as a dark mode version. So choose whichever one you're going to want to use. We're going to go with dark mode here for this demonstration. And I have a GC loader installed into my GameCube. So I run all of my homebrew programs from that SD card now. And GCMM can write directly to the GC loader if you have it on version 2.0 firmware or higher. If you're running an SD Gecko or an SD to SP2 memory card, get those inserted into your computer. Or if you're running the GC loader like I am, same thing. Just get that USB drive inserted in. And then you just need to drag the dull file anywhere into your file system. I like to put all my GameCube homebrew into a folder named GameCube Homebrew. So that way it's all organized. I know what it all is. And it's good to go. But I'm just going to rename this real quick because I am a tad OCD about it, I guess. There we go. Now there is an extra step here you could choose to do. If you know what device you're going to be using to back up your GameCube memory cards to, you can basically default the program to back up to that device. So there's a couple of different options here. You can have it ask for different devices to use. You can set it to the GC loader, um, SD Gecko in either port A or B, SD Gecko in port A, SD Gecko in port B, or the SD to SP2. I don't think you need to actually mess with this if you don't want to, but for simplicity's sake, I'm going to grab this CLI file for GC Loader. And I need to rename this to match what I named GCMM. So just like that, I have the GCMM executable, and then I have this uh, CLI file here named the exact same thing. And now when I run it, it's going to dump my GameCube memory card directly to my GC Loader. So you could do the same thing again with any of these devices, or you could have it ask for the device every time. But once you have your SD card prepped, just take it out of your computer, put it into your GameCube. Now over on the GameCube with that SD card in place, get booted up into Swiss and navigate to where you have GCMM. And then just tell it to run. So as you can see, since I set up that CLI file, it is automatically going to send my GameCube saves over to the GC loader. I didn't need to tell it to change a device. But now we're ready to begin backing up our GameCube memory cards. So we have a list of commands over on the right side of the screen. So there's a couple of different methods to do here. You can do a backup of individual saves and you press Y to access this and you can select slot A or slot B. I'm going to go ahead and do slot B right now. This is where I have uh, my physical GameCube memory card at the moment. But as you can see, you can see just a huge list of all of your game saves. And I have some saves in here dating all the way back to 2001, which is just absolutely fantastic. So if you want to pick and choose individual saves, this is how you would go about doing it. And you can even press R to back up all the saves. Now, if you'd just like to make an entire copy of this memory card, you could do a raw backup by holding down the left trigger and pressing Y. 
and then selecting your memory card slot. So again, for this example, I'm going to do slot B. And it is backing up the entire memory card to my GC loader. And then when the backup's complete, you just press A to continue. But then you could also use this program again to format your memory cards, delete individual saves, and other various things. So it's a great all-in-one tool to manage your GameCube memory card easily. And this also lets you copy over copy protected saves, which is an even bigger benefit. But once you're finished doing everything you need to do, you can just press start to exit the program and head back into Swiss. So now you can pull that SD card out of your GameCube, put it back in your computer. And when you go into your folder structure, you should see a folder named MC Backup. And when you go into it, you should see a memory card raw image. So here we go. There's my 1019 block memory card. And then it has the date that it was dumped on. And my GameCube's clock is off by uh, a lot. So there, there we go. Awesome. But just drag that over to your computer and you now have a digital backup of your physical memory card ready to be used on all of your various projects. All right, now let's show that same process except for use on a modded Wii. So after you get your Wii Homebrew enabled following that guide, if you already didn't have a Homebrew enabled Wii, uh, you're still gonna download GCMM, and inside you'll see the Wii folder. And then you get to choose if you wanna have the light theme or the dark theme again. Now get your Wii's SD card or USB drive if you're storing apps on USB, doesn't matter either way. But get the device you're using inserted into your computing device, open up your apps folder, and drag GCMM inside. Looks like I already had a version of GCMM on here, so I'm just going to delete that one so we don't get duplicates. But there we go, now that that is ready, just close out of my Wii's SD card here and get it put back into the Wii. All right, so over on the Wii, get that SD card inserted or USB drive inserted, again, depending on where you're storing your apps, and make sure you have a GameCube memory plugged into one of the memory card slots. Now just go ahead and boot into the Homebrew channel and find GCMM in your list of apps. There it is. And then tell it to load. And now I have GCMM ready to back up my GameCube memory cards using the Wii. And by default, it is sending everything to the front SD card slot on my Wii. If you want to change devices, you could just press 1 on a Wiimote or R plus start. And then you can select the device you want to use. I only have the front SD card slot attached at the moment, so that's my only choice. But now you can use either a GameCube controller or a Wiimote to navigate the program. So... If you want to make backups of individual saves, you could just press the minus button on a Wiimote or the Y button on a GameCube controller. And then you could press A or B for the memory card slot in slot A or slot B. I have my memory card in slot B because I honestly had no idea which memory card slot I was inserting it into. But then you could go through and press A to back up any GameCube save that you wish. Or you could press R or 1 on your controller, R for GameCube, 1 for Wiimote, to back up every save. Or if you want to make just a backup of the entire memory card as is, you could do a raw backup using L plus Y on a GameCube controller or B plus minus on a Wiimote, and then choose your slot. And it will write the memory card over to the device you have selected. And once the copy is finished, you can just press A to continue. And once you're all done inside GCMM, you could just press the home button on your Wiimote or the start button on a GameCube controller to head back to the homebrew channel. And then we could just turn the Wii off and pull out the memory card and put it into our computer. All right, so I went ahead and got that SD card inserted into my computer. And now I have a new folder named MC Backup. And inside is another backup of my GameCube memory card. And this time it has the correct date because my Wii's connected to the internet. Huzzah. But there we go, I have two dumps of the exact same memory card, so I'm just going to get rid of one because I don't need it. <laughs> but there you go, your digital memory card file is now ready to be used on a number of different applications. You can use the card directly within Dolphin, you can use it for Nintendo, and if you want to do a virtual memory card on GC Loader, you can have GC Loader create a virtual memory card, then you can use Dolphin's memory card man manager to copy the saves off of this digital memory card over to it that are copy protected. But... Just a quick example of using this on Dolphin. 
So here's my dolphin folder. I have my dolphin folder set to run all within itself with the portable.txt file. So my dolphin save folder is under my dolphin directory. You might find it under your user files. Uh, it just really depends how you set up dolphin. But inside you'll see a GC folder. And this is technically where it likes to save default memory cards. So I can just store this memory card file directly here along with all the other ones. And then of course you can rename it whatever you want to. Name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter a whole lot or shouldn't matter a whole lot. But now I can launch into Dolphin. And once Dolphin has opened, we're going to go into the config tab here. Click on the GameCube tab. And we're going to change our slot A or slot B, whichever one you want to do. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. But if you want it to be your main memory card, you can choose slot A and then select that memory card file. And then if you have a slot B one, if you want it to be slot B, you can do that there as well. Again, doesn't really matter a whole lot. But now you can confirm that it's all working as intended by going up to the Tools tab. And you can go to the Memory Card Manager here. And you will see your dump memory card in either slot A or slot B. So, this is the one I just dumped. And there's all the save files that came along with it. And as you can see, it's grabbed protected saves like Pokemon Coliseum just fine. As well as Fantasy Star and other various ones. Or an even cooler thing to do if you have backed up your GameCube's IPL, you can actually go and uh, load your GameCube's main menu. And you can manage the memory card just like you would on an official GameCube. Now let's say you want to copy some of the saves from your original physical memory card over to a digital memory card in Nintendo. So, to accomplish this, insert the SD card that you're using with Nintendo and find your saves folder. And if you've used Nintendo previously, you'll find your already configured digital memory card. Now using Dolphin and that memory card manager that was shown previously, head up to Tools, Memory Card Manager, we can open up our backup memory card. So I already have my personal memory card backup in here. But I can now open up my Ninmem Raw memory card here for Nintendo. And inside is just a save for Crazy Taxi and Call of Duty. But let's go ahead and add in my Rogue Squadron 2 save file. There we are. So I'm just going to copy that over to slot B. And there it is. And then I can take this SD card out and put it back in my Wii U. So now back over on the Wii U, I've got booted into Nintendo, and I have my game stored on the SD card. So just going to boot into Rogue Leader here and make sure that the save has been transferred successfully. And there we have it. My entire Rogue Squadron 2 save file is now here and intact with all of my gold medals that I had during my uh, Rogue Squadron 2 gold medal walkthrough that I did a couple years back. Very nice. And that's going to do it for this one. As always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try to help you out. Not a difficult process, but getting the modded system required could be a challenge for some. And being able to use saves that you've had on your GameCube memory card for years and years, or maybe even if it's a new save and you're just looking to move over to a digital memory card setup, like, having the ability to do this is just awesome. But big thank you to each and every one of you for making it through today's video. Really helps the channel keep going by having you spend even a minute of time here. But I do have a couple of huge favors to ask of you here at the end. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that like or dislike button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial. Also, be sure to hit that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content coming your way, and I'd love to have you along for the ride. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing you all this content. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for keeping us going and believing in what we do. But until next time, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.